Hey, what's up guys, Popping Gamers here, and I'm going to show you guys how the new modular engines work and how to set it up for your first bump. So now that we're in the workshop, we're going to go in and grab a crankshaft to start with this. And with the crankshaft, if you want to make the smallest possible engine, like I'm going to show you guys how to do right now, just place it down, perpendicular, I think that's the word, I don't know, long ways crankshaft ends that way. Eh, so now that we got the crankshaft down, we just need to go and grab a cylinder. And we're going to pop a cylinder on the top, just like this. And after you grab the cylinder, cylinders have to go on the crankshaft, or they do not work, as far as I know. And we're going to go grab a belt drive. The belt drive on the front facing towards the front of your belt. And a engine coolant manifold. Engine coolant manifolds have to go on your crankshaft. So turn off mirror mode. See if that's the correct way. That's the correct way. So this is what cools your engine. I don't think it does anything right now except for if you don't put it on your engine it doesn't seem to work and get an engine fluid pump. I'm going to put an engine fluid pump on the side of the belt like this. And this is just a fluid pump from is what I can tell. So I think you could use it to power pretty much anything if you wanted to. So now that you got that, you might as well go and put your starter and alternator on it. So I'm going to put my alternator on the top and I'm going to put my old starter. I can find it. Starter here on the side and you don't want to put anything underneath here if you want to go for the smallest possible engine and we're going to go and grab a engine exhaust manifold put the engine exhaust manifold on pretty much either or side i don't think it matters yeah it shouldn't matter this is a relatively even build or doesn't matter which direction you make this. And grab a intake manifold. Put the intake manifold right on the side. Air on that side. Fluid on that side. Now we're going to go grab a fluid. Fluid port. The fluid port there. And that will be our air. You can route that anywhere inside your boat. I don't... shouldn't matter. This is just to get the smallest start. So you have your exhaust there. You can throw your a fluid port directly on that. You have to have a exhaust port directly into the fluid port for it to work. And then we can put our a fluid tank right there. And it seems if you put it underneath the intake thing, so if you put the fuel tank right here, you're going to have to pump it into it. So I think that's the point of this normally but I'm just running it through it like that and if we grab our go back to engines grab a engine clutch put it at the end these engine clutches do not work on normal engines at all they have a little part in the back right there and that's to the crankshaft so if we go and erase that block right there, go to fluid, grab a alternator, put that there, grab a pipe, and put a pipe right there, and that should literally be all. So we're going to go grab a torque so you guys can see the torque. Torque. Grab a lever. I'm going to put a lever for both the clutch and the fuel or flu throttle, Jesus English, and we're going to grab a display. So display for torque and RPS. There we go. And a button. 
to start the motor and a battery. So the battery pretty much anywhere on here. Well, pretty much anywhere on your boat will work. We all know how these work by now. Throw it like that. So for your starter, you grab it from there, put it to your button, and then top one I'm going to put to my clutch. Bottom one I'm going to put to the throttle. The throttle is from your little intake manifold thing. So you can have it. I've messed around with it, and you can literally just give every piston a intake manifold if you so wanted to. It doesn't seem to benefit you, as far as I can tell. I don't know why I went with that. Okay. So we're going to put this one to torque, and then RPS. Your crankshaft, each one of those has an RPS output, and... I'm going to grab a constant on signal and put that to those. And the motor should work. So you can see it's nice and small. Pretty much everything you need to get the motor to work fits inside the small motor. So if we do that, you can see it does 8.5 torque. It is like three less torque than the normal one, but if you have one extra one, it's literally, like, nearly double. And I screwed up somewhere. Let me try figuring out where I did that. I tend to do that a lot. So, let's try something really quick, because I haven't tried... I don't even know if you need the fluid pump for that. So let's see if that might have been it. Because it also might just be that this is not a bomb. Yep, I think I was correct. Unless I didn't give it power. I gave it power, right? Yeah, I gave it power. Okay. So I think my problem is the fuel tank. Like I was telling you guys literally just before. If it's not done correctly, it seems to complain. So... Might work now. Let's see if this is it. So I'm just going to do that. Go to our intake manifold thing fuels on that side, our air is on this side, we'll grab a food port for air, and a fuel tank for our fuel. See if that was it, because it honestly could have been. I might have messed up too, before and not hooked up something correctly. So, see if this one works. Yep. So, I think you might have to put the manifold through that. But, it will run up to 100, F, or 100 uh, RPS. RPM. I don't know why they didn't do RPM. 100 RPS, and it chugs through fuel. But, this is pretty much the smallest you can get. In the game, you don't seem to have to have the fluid pump thing, so I wouldn't even bother with that. Because, well, if you're playing survival, there goes money. But, as you can see, it fits in a 4x4, I think is what I did with this. So, here, let's see how, how wide the engine is. So, engine from front to back with the battery is 4. And side to side is 3. And it is three tall. So it's pretty much three by three by three if you're not counting the fuel tank. And the fuel tank is not going to be there, to be honest with that. And I could also most likely just put the fuel tank on its side. Go like that. And that would make it 
three by three by four or three by four by three. I'm not counting this because you know. So that's compared to a normal sized engine where well it's literally the size of this engine without all the stuff you need. So and that's all for this video guys. If you guys liked the video, leave a like and if you guys want to see more, hit the subscribe button. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.